yeah well uh, in this class we are going to discuss type 2 means in the previous class we discuss how to find out pi suppose q of x is equal to exponential function we consider all different type of function exponential function hyperbolic function and also constant constant or maybe a is of the form p power of x means a power of x in all the cases we converted the given function into exponential form and then use the method of finding pro particular integral for e power of x then i to find out the corresponding solution in case the function is hyperbolic function or maybe have a constant it may be is in the form of a power of x now moving to the last uh, type means second type the trigonometry function not for all the trigonometry function suppose q of x equals uh, k into cos of ax plus r minus b where k a b are constant or k into sin of ax plus r minus b suppose q of x having one of the term is a trigonometry function either may be sin or cos how to find out corresponding particular integral now here we k a and b are constants yeah now you know that what's the formula for finding particular integral q of what's the formula for uh, a particular integral pi equals 1 by f of t into q of x what is we have we have taken the q of x is nothing but i you take any one i'm going to take k into cos of ax plus r minus b now here k is a constant i have to keep it outside okay fine and then what we did for exponential function if we want to find out particular inter integral for exponential function first you have to verify whether a is a root of axillary equation like that if you want to find out particular integral for the cosine or sine function first you have to verify whether what is the quotient of x here a whether plus r minus i a is a root or uh, root of a complex it's a complex root of uh, axillary equation suppose if Plus a minus a a plus a minus a a means alpha is zero, beta is equal to a. Plus a minus a a is not a a pair of pair of complex pair of root. Yeah, plus a minus a a is a pair of root of axillary equation. Suppose This plus r minus i a is not a just a minute. It's not a root of uh, axillary is not a root. It's not a pair of. root of axillary equation in that case what is my pi pi is nothing but k into 1 by f of minus a square into cos of ax plus r minus b means we had to replace replace b square not for anywhere d square by minus a square of the quotient of x in the trigonometric function this is a formula for finding particular integral for trigonometric function first before going to take this part first try to verify whether plus r minus i a is a root of the it's a pair of root of uh, axillary equation it's not a pair of root of axillary equation what we are going to do replace d square minus of a square you can't replace by d D D cube only even power. D power of four can also be written as D square into D square. Okay. Now, if plus r minus i a 
it's a pair of pair of root of auxiliary equation in that case the formula for finding particular integral is x divided by f dash of minus of a square cos of x plus r minus b means replace First you find out, uh, first you find out uh, what actually uh, f dash of d and then replace d square by minus a square in where in not f of d in f dash of d. Here I to replace in f of d. Yeah. Suppose is a two pairs of complex root means x square by f double dash of minus of a square. This is the way I have to proceed. Now, before we move to the problem, I am going to repeat once again how to find out particular integral. Suppose the q of x having one of the term is cosine or sine function. Now, first you have to verify you pick the quotient of x in the trigonometry function, not for all the trigonometry function. They mention very clearly in your uh, syllabus cos and sine. Plus or minus the quotient of x. What is quotient of x in this case? A. E. Plus or minus i a is not a pair of complex, not a pair of a root of auxiliary equation. In that case, replace d square by minus a square in f of d. In f of d. Okay. Then, f1 by f of minus of a square into cos of a plus r minus b. Similarly, same thing for sin also. Suppose plus or minus i a, why I taken a? Because quotient of x is a. Is a pair of root of auxiliary equation in that case x divided by f dash of d but you find out the derivative of f of d and then replace d square by minus of a square in f dash of d. This is a way I to find out particular integral for a trigonometry function suppose sin or cos. Now based on that we, uh, we are going to take some few problems based on that. Okay first solve Solve the following. Differential equations. Solve the following differential equations. First problem. d square y by dx square. Minus 3 into dy by dx. Plus 2y equal to sine 2x. One part you know how to find out cf you already know that. Here, I'm go the main goal is how to find out pi, suppose they're having uh, q of x is sine or cos function. So first, you have to write the given function in terms of uh, differential operator. d square y minus 3 dy plus 2y equal to sine 2x. What's a common factor here? x is a, uh, y is a common factor. d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equals sine 2x. What's our next step? First, try to write the auxiliary equation. How to write the auxiliary equation? This is nothing but my f of d. Auxiliary equation is replace d by m and then equal to 0. Means m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. You know this part how to proceed. Not necessary to explain much time for this part. Okay. Now, now we have to do the factorization. While do the factorization, what is that? A is my 1, B is 2, B is minus 3 and then uh, C is equal to 2. Then what is A? C is 2. Once you multiply any two factors, we are expecting 2. But at uh, add, what we are, add add, subtract, what we are expecting? Uh, minus 3. Therefore, what we are going to take? 2 into 1. Minus 2, minus 1. Once you add, we get minus 3. Minus into minus plus, what we get 2. Once you multiply it, we get to add minus 3 satisfies. Therefore, this can also be written as minus 2m minus m plus 2 equal to 0. Proof first to take common factor. What's the common factor m? m minus 2. Observe carefully this point I told number of times. Once we get this factor, what's the factor we get now? m minus 2. Try to express in the second term also m minus 2. Therefore, what we are going to do? Take minus sign outside. Again, from these two terms, what's a common factor? m minus 2 is a common factor. 
m minus 1 equal to 3. Then what are the roots are expecting? There are two roots, 2 and 1. Therefore, what is my complementary function? Complementary function is c1 into e power of independent variable x plus c2 into e power of x. Next, I want to find out pi. Here, not necessary to take term by term because having only one term. pi is nothing but 1 by f of d. What is f of d? d square minus 3d plus 2 into sin 2x. We already discussed just few minutes before. If you want to find out particular integral of uh, sin or cos, first you have to verify what is my a. Here the a is what actually 2. Yeah, a is equal to 2. Now, plus r minus a, a means what? Plus r minus 2i. a is 2. It's not a pair of complex root. Not a pair of uh, root of auxiliary equation. Not necessary to mention complex root. Plus R minus 2 2i itself is understood. It's not a pair of um, is not a pair of root of auxiliary equation. It's not a root of auxiliary equation. How to proceed? Now I have to replace d square by minus R a square. What is a square? 2 square. Minus 3. You can't replace everywhere. Only I have to replace in the d square. d power of 4 can be written as d square into d, d square like that. Now, except that, except d square, you can't replace anywhere. Minus of a square into sin 2x. Now, I have to simplify this one by minus 4 plus 2. What we get actually? Uh, minus uh, what about uh, 2 minus 3d okay fine minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 now for our convenient I take minus sign outside what we get 3d plus 2 yeah this is not a solution still having a differential inverse differential operator in the denominator therefore this is not a solution what where we are getting a solution we get a some constant position but here still have a differential operator but you can't replace d, uh, d, uh, d by value if you want to fire, replace it always a convert d must be d square how to convert we have to convert d in terms of d square go for rationalization method 3d plus 2 is there therefore what's the rationalization 3d minus 2 divided by 3d minus 2 into sin 2x. Keep in mind, once you eliminate d square, if you have any linear, you can't proceed directly. I had to convert d in terms of d square by with help of what? Rationalization. 3d plus 2 is there. What's, what's the thing we are going to do? The uh, multiply and divide 3d minus 2. Once you simplify this minus of 3d minus 2, a plus b into a minus b is a square. What is a square? 3d whole square. What is 3d whole square? 9d square minus b square. What is b square? Is 4. It's sin 2x. And then you replace d square by minus a square. d square. Don't worry about that. Whether 2 is a uh, root or not. We already, uh, uh, this is not our original, uh, what about uh, polynomial. Yeah, we already done first step now. Now, what's your next step? Replace uh, d square by minus a, a square. What is a square? It's 4. Minus 4. Okay. In the next step, what we are uh, going to do here uh, into sine 2x as usual. Okay, fine. Now, I have to simplify in the denominator. Minus 36 minus 4, we get minus 40. In the numerator having minus sign, we get 1 by 40. But still have a differential operator. What we are going to do here, now I am going to take sin 2x inside the bracket. Derivative of sin 2x, you already know that what is D stands for. Derivative with respect to x. Therefore, D sin 2x means what actually? The derivative of uh, sine 2x with respect to x. 
yeah. Now at the simple of the 1 by 40, 3 into what is derivative of sin x? Cos 2x into derivative of 2x with respect to x is 2 minus 2 sin 2x. If we want to take 2 is common factor from here, then I have to simplify that. Once you take 2 is common factor, 2 is cancelled with 40, what we get? 1 by 20 of 3 cos 2x minus sin 2x. Now observe here is not involving any inverse differential operator or differential operator. Therefore, now I have to leave it this as a pi. Yeah. Therefore, what is my y is equal to cf plus pi. What is CF? What is PI? CF is nothing but C1 into E power of 2x plus C2 into E power of x. And then what is PI is 20 into 3 cos 2x minus sin 2x. Is the required? general solution. Before move to the next uh, problem, I am going to repeat once again. Yeah, you must be understand carefully for this. Okay. What we are going to do here, we are uh, first try to convert the given differential uh, equation in terms of differential operator. Observe carefully here, why is a dependent variable, x is an independent variable. Now, I to express once in terms of differential operator, automatically we get polynomial in terms of d. Replace d by m and then equal to 0. That is auxiliary equation. So, carefully we get two roots. Both the roots are real and distinct. You know from case A how to write CF for real and distinct roots. Next, take a pi and then 1 by f of t to sin 2x. Now, what is my a? a is equal to 2. Observe whether plus r minus 2i is a root. The pair of root no, it's not a pair of root of auxiliary equation. For what's the formula? Replace d square by minus of a, not minus a whole square, minus of a square. Once you replace d square by minus of a square, we get a linear factor in the denominator. Still have a differential operator. So now, until uh, 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 remove all differential operator in uh, pi. Then we say that that's a pi of the corresponding function using inverse differential operator. Then here, after you've taken minus and also this is a linear form. Therefore, I try to convert d in terms of d square. Therefore, what we are going to do? I have to convert a plus b into a minus b. Okay. Therefore, multiply and divided by opposite of this. a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. Then you replace d square by minus of a square. We get minus 4 here, minus 4. We get minus 36 plus or minus 4. What we get? Minus 40, but we already have minus sign. We get plus. To take uh, sign inside the bracket, derivative of sign to x. What is this? It stands for capital D, derivative with respect to x. Then what is derivative of this? 2 cos 2 x. And then 2 sin to x. 2 is a common factor. This is nothing but particular integral of the given function supposed in the form of which form? Trigonometric function. Okay. Now I move to the next problem. I am showing the entire problem in two screenshots. Now we have moved to the next problem. Move to the next problem. Yeah. Second problem. D power of 4 minus 1 into y equals sin x plus 2. 
No, they already given uh, in terms of differential operator. Don't uh, take a ambiguity here. In the right hand side, one of the function is involving x. Therefore, what is d stands for? Derivative with respect to x. Observe carefully. Suppose they are given already in terms of differential operator. How can you know that which one is independent variable? Depends upon the variable involved in the q of x. That is independent variable. The remaining variable is or uh, what is constants. Okay. You please take, sorry, not a constant here. See, observe carefully. Taking, uh, here they already given differential operator. Don't keep in mind this ambiguity. Observe right hand side function. What variable involved in right hand side function? That is nothing but independent variable. Which variable involved in the right hand side means in Q of X? Yes, therefore X is a independent variable. Therefore, what is D stands for? Derivative with respect to x. Now here I'm going to take in the right hand side. I'm going to explain d power of 4 minus 1. That can also be written as d square whole square minus 1 square. a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. a is d square. What is b is 1? a plus b into a minus a minus b. Once you multiply that, we get d power of 4 minus 1. Therefore, now I have to write auxiliary equation is m to the power of 4 minus 1 equal to 0. Just now I explained, even though it's a polynomial degree 4, not necessary to go for synthetic division method. Why? Because now it's easy to simplify with you with help of some fundamental uh, formula. Now I'm trying to convert which form a square minus b square. Now, once you convert that, what we get actually a plus b to a minus b, m square plus 1 into m square minus 1 equal to 0. Now, what we get m square plus 1 equal to 0, m square minus 1 equal to 0. What is my m? m square is minus 1, that implies m is plus or minus root of minus 1. What is that plus or minus i? And similarly, I take m square minus 1 is a plus b into a minus b, m plus 1 into m minus 1 equal to 0. That implies m is equal to minus 1 because m plus 1 equal to 0 and m is equal to 1. Now, this is a uh, way I have to find out the roots of the uh, auxiliary equation. Finally, what? how many roots are expected? Four roots. What are the four roots? Plus R minus I, minus 1 and 1. Next, I have to write the complementary function. What's my complementary function? Is nothing but, yeah, which one is missing here? Alpha is missing, means alpha is nothing but 0. E power of 0 into independent variable of C1 into cos of beta. What is beta? Coefficient of i is 1. C2 into sine of what actually? X. Coefficient of i is 1. Plus C3 into e power of minus x. Plus C4 into e power of x. This also very, is very, very important. Without using... Uh, you, without uh, using synthetic me synthetic division method, how to convert into quadratic form? Just apply a square minus b square. Next is what actually? Ai. 1 by d power of 4 minus 1 into, first I am going to take first function sin x. If we want to find out uh, uh, what about uh, uh, the value of uh, sin x you, for particular integral, first I have to verify what is the quotient of x. The quotient of x is equal to a. a is equal to 1. a is equal to 1. Now I have to verify plus or minus i. a is equal to 1. a is 1. Therefore, now here plus or minus a is a one of the root. Here, First, try to verify whether the quotient of x of trigonometry function is a complex root of the auxiliary equation. Here, 
plus or minus sign is a is a one of uh, is a uh, pair of root here plus or minus is a pair of root of auxiliary equation it's a pair of root of auxiliary equation how many pair only one pair therefore what's the uh, what's the uh, next step here x divided by f dash of d into sin x x divided by what is my uh, f of d please try to understand what is my f of d is d power of 4 minus 1 what is my f dash of d derivative of d power of 4 with respect to d is 4 d cube derivative of constant is 0 now here we get 4 d cube into sin x now this uh, 1 by 4 is a constant. Here now I have to keep x by 4 as itself. d cube can be written as d square into d. Why I am going to write it like that? Because if you want to replace the quotient of x of sin or cos, you must be replace it by d square by minus of a square. In the next step, d square is nothing but what actually? d square is nothing but minus of 1 square into d sin x. Okay. In the next step, observe carefully. In the next step, uh, x by minus d square is minus x by 4, 1 by d. Keep in mind, d is a derivative with respect to x. 1 by d means integrate with respect to x. This is a difference between differential operator. Inverse differential operator is said to integrate because integration and differentiation both are inverse process. Therefore, 1 by d means integration of uh, the function with respect to x. Therefore, what is 1 by d is integrate the function. What is a function? Sin x. What is integration of sin x? Minus cos x. Okay y, the quotient of x is 1. Now, I have to simplify this, what we get? x cos x by 4. Yeah. x cos x by 4. This is for particular integral for the first term. Means for sin x. Similarly, I want to find out what is a particular integral for particular integral for uh, the function is nothing but what actually particular integral for the function is 2. Yeah. 2 is a constant. Before we discussed already in the previous class, replace this uh, constant in terms of exponential x is independent variable. Therefore, now observe carefully here, uh, the question is arise uh, whether this uh, 0 is a root. Yeah, just now we calculated what are the roots. What are the roots? Plus or minus i, 1 and minus 1 are the roots. Therefore, 0 is not a root of the ancillary equation. Therefore, what, how to proceed for exponential function? Re replace d, d by a, f of a. Okay. What is a here? In this case, a is equal to 0. It is not a root of ancillary equation. Okay. Therefore, what we are going to do? Replace uh, d by 0 to the power of 4 minus 1 into e power of 0 into x. e power of 0 into x is 1, therefore we get minus 2. Yeah. Now I have to write what is my general solution. Okay. Once you complete, again I will go back. I to explain because it is very, very important. Once you clear the steps, then easy to score the marks here. Then, general solution is y equals because dependent variable is y cf plus pi 
what is cf uh, c1 into cos x yes plus c2 into yes c2 into what actually c2 into sin yeah these are the roots i'm showing that what are the roots we have find out one, minus 1 and 1 yeah e power of 0 is 1 therefore i'm neglecting that not necessary to write plus or minus here this you write uh, plus this you write here plus this you have to write plus here a minute c2 sin x plus c3 e power of minus a uh, e power of x actually and then i take uh, c4 e power of minus x plus yeah before moving to that uh, if you want to write pi is nothing but pi1 plus pi2. That's you know that that's why I'm taken, uh, taking directly here. What is my pi1? pi1 is nothing but uh, x by 4 cos x. Yeah. And then minus 2. This is the answer, this is the answer of the given problem. So all means I have to find out the solution of y in terms of x and constant. Before move to the next step, again I'll go back to that. Again I have to repeat these steps. What we did, they are given already in terms of differential operator. Whenever they are given differential operator, first you observe the right hand side means Q of X, which variable involved that is independent variable means D stands for derivative with respect to X. And then you write the auxiliary equation replace D by M and then equal to 0. Even though it's a polynomial degree 4, not necessary to move using synthetic division method. It's possible to simplify directly. Now I'm going to write m to the power of 4 is m square whole square. Yeah, m square whole square. m square whole square minus 1 square. It's nothing but a square minus b square. What is my m? m square. What is my b? 1 a plus b into a, a minus a plus b into a minus b then equal to 0 here we get one pair of uh, you know that root of minus 1 what is root of minus 1 is i one pair of uh, this root and then we get two roots are real and distinct then you write the complementary function this function we get from uh, case d, uh, d these two are real and distinct from case a then move to the finding pi. I am going to take first sin x. What is the coefficient of x here? 1, therefore a is equal to 1. a is equal to 1, then plus or minus i a. Please try to understand plus or minus i a. What is plus or minus i a is plus or minus i. Because a is 1. Now here, plus or minus i is a, one, a pair of root of auxiliary equation. Therefore, what is the formula for finding uh, particular integral x divided by f dash of d sin x. What is my f dash of d? Derivative of this 4d cube minus 0 therefore 4d cube and then replace d by d replace d square by minus of a square. That's a formula. Yeah. It's a complex root means what's the formula? 1 by f dash of d into sin x, what's the condition? Replace d square by minus of d square. Therefore, this d cube can be written as d square into d, replace d square by minus of 1 square. Not minus 1 whole square, minus of a square. Now, what we get actually after the uh, simplification, minus x by 4 into 1 by d, into 1 by d, d stands for differentiation. What's the reciprocal of differentiation is integration because both are reciprocal to each other. 
1 by d stands means it integrate this with respect to x. What is integration of sin x minus cos x? What we get? x by 4 cos x. Similarly, I have to move to the second uh, term. What's the second term? It's 2. 2 is a constant. We already discussed in the previous class. Whenever we had to find out a particular integral for constant, first I have to express in terms of exponential. This can be written as e power of 0 dx. What is a is 0. It's not a root of auxiliary equation. What's the kind of thing? Then I have to uh, replace t by a into e power of ax is the particular integral. Then I have to replace d by 0. Simplify that, we get minus 2. Take sum of pi1 and pi2 is nothing but pi. General solution is cf plus pi is nothing but our general solution of the given problem. Finally, we get solution of uh, y in terms of x and constant. I think uh, you are clear the up to till this step. Okay. Now, uh, now as we are going to discuss in the next class few more problems, different type of problems in the next class. One, then uh, that's the last class for this module. I'm going to take different type of functions uh, based on sine and cos. Okay, that's it. Now once uh, I'm going to take a few more problems in the next class, then, but it's not possible I to solve all the problems in the class. Now I'm going to share my e-contact notes. You please go through that. Thank you very much. Bye, see you and take care. Please go through today's class and come back. Before I'm going to wind up the class, I'm showing uh, uh, this uh, problem, second problem. In uh, It's not possible to show it in the one screenshot. Okay, let's see. I'll try my best. No, it's not possible. Uh, it's too small. Therefore, now what we are going to do here. This is a one screenshot of the second problem. And... Move to this. Okay, fine. Take care. Bye.